let's talk about OSHA and process safety management operating procedures. And I want to mention to you that OSHA is considered minimal compliance. Just because you're in compliance with the minimal OSHA standards doesn't always mean that you have a safe facility, safe operation. So I always like to say go for the best practices, go for the state-of-the-art practices. Even prior to process safety management, most facilities that had process safety management covered operations had had operating procedures for decades and decades, but the PSM standard now specifically requires operating procedures. So let's talk about OSHA and their view on process safety management operating procedures. Now paragraph F, that covers operating procedures, covers provisions requiring the development and implementation of written operating procedures. The procedures are to provide clear instructions for safely conducting activities involved in covered processes and they must be consistent with the process safety information. To have an effective process safety management program, OSHA believes that tasks and procedures directly and indirectly related to the covered process must be appropriate, clear, consistent, and most importantly, communicated to employees. Many different tasks may be necessary during a process, such as initial startup, handling special hazards, normal operation, temporary operations, and emergency shutdown. The appropriate and consistent manner in which the employer expects these tasks and procedures to be performed consistent with the facility's operating procedures is sometimes referred to as standard operating procedures. And a lot of times you'll hear it say SOP, standard operating procedures. It is important to have written operating procedures so employees working on a process do a given task in the same manner, consistently over and over in the same manner. There is less likelihood that incidents will occur if written operating procedures are developed so even a new employee or one who is relatively inexperienced will respond to a given event in a pre-considered and prescribed manner. It is also important that the procedures be written so that they can be communicated to employees in the most effective manner possible. So folks, we want to make sure we can train employees on a procedure and they can replicate these processes and their responsibilities in a consistent, similar fashion over and over. Regardless if that employee's worked on that process for three decades or if we have an employee who's been on that process for three weeks or three months. We want to make sure that we have consistency. Such written procedures comprise the employer's policy with respect to what is to be accomplished and how it is to be accomplished safely. This will ensure that employees will perform like tasks and procedures in a consistently safe manner and employees will know what is expected of them. These procedures must also be available for ready reference and review during production to make sure the process is operated properly. Now, most of my clients will have a combination of the procedures being available on the computer terminal as well as a written copy available if they want to have a hard written copy. Mm -hmm.